The Russia-Ukraine conflict has been going on for more than a year. During these more than 300 days, the battlefields of Russia and Ukraine were almost all in Ukraine, and occasionally some wars would spread to other surrounding countries. For example, Poland and Belarus were accidentally injured by Ukrainian anti-aircraft missiles. Russia is also occasionally attacked by some drones, but the Russian army has not suffered any serious losses so far. The Ukrainian army's counterattack against the Russian mainland has not been successful. Does this mean that the Russian mainland is very safe? This is probably not the case. Recently, there were explosions not far from Moscow. From the media's point of view, the explosion was carried out by the Ukrainian army's drones, and the purpose was to attack the loopholes of the Russian army's defense. According to Greek media reports, there was an explosion recently in Kolomna, a city less than 100 kilometers away from Moscow, which has attracted the attention of the Russian army. Considering that the explosion has approached the capital Moscow, in order to protect the safety of the capital, the current staff from the Russian emergency department have gone to the scene of the incident to investigate. Greek media stated that this is likely to be a drone attack by the Ukrainian army. Western media believe that the main target of Ukrainian drones is Russia's strategic infrastructure, such as natural gas pipelines, arsenals, and ammunition depots. Judging from the penetration capabilities of the Ukrainian army's drones, there are big loopholes in the Russian air defense system. Otherwise, how could there be frequent incidents of drones breaking into Russia? It was previously reported that in order to protect the safety of the capital Moscow, the Russian army has urgently dispatched additional troops equipped with the S-400 air defense system to protect the safety of Moscow. Some analysts believe that the frequent drone attacks by the Ukrainian army are actually attacking the loopholes of the Russian army. The goal is very clear, which is to destroy important military facilities of the Russian army. It is reported that the military factory in the Kolomna region can produce the famous Kinzhal hypersonic missile and the Iskander-M tactical missile. Therefore, it is no exaggeration to call the region a very important missile production center for the Russian army. In addition, it is close to the capital Moscow. Once the Ukrainian army successfully attacks, it will deal a huge blow to the morale and strategic significance of the Russian army. Of course, if the Ukrainian army wants to cause fatal damage to the Russian army, it is still very difficult to rely on drones to break through the layers of defense of the Russian army. According to U.S. media reports, two Ukrainian pilots have already gone to the United States for flight training, and dozens of Ukrainian pilots will be trained soon. The main content of the training is how to fly the U.S.-made F-16 fighter. Obviously, the Ukrainian army is very aware of its own weakness, which is the lack of advanced fighters. After the training of these pilots is completed, the F-16 fighter jets will also be included in the military aid to Ukraine. By then, Russia's missile factories will be really dangerous.